Hello, hello, and good morning to you guys. Good morning. Today's a little bit of the later day. Life happens, <laughs> but still early in the morning. So I thank you guys for being with me today. It's early in the morning on my side of the globe. Now where you're at, it could be a completely different time zone, right? Isn't that the beauty of our globe is that it's early in the morning for me, but somewhere else, it can actually be almost nighttime. So I thank you for joining me. If you listen to this on replay or in my old school language, rewind, I want to thank you for joining me and for leaving those beautiful comments. I do get your comments. I try my best to always respond. And I want to thank you guys for rolling with the sister. Hello, Area, Area Creates. I hope I said that right. Area Creates. Thank you for being with me today. Well, guys, you are with the Anyone Can Play Right podcast show. I believe a lot of times I actually forget to put that into my um, into my, my videos with you guys. I put it on the caption. I put it for the title, but I don't always announce what this is. Well, this is the Anyone Can Play Right podcast show. And Play Right is P-L-A-Y-W-R-I-T-E. Play Right. Anyone can play right. Just like you write, W-R-I-T-E. So guys, I thank you for being with me today. We are going over this book together. This is now our journey together, the Adult Play Therapy Devotional. This is a 60-day soul cleansing devotional and journal. You can purchase this on Amazon. This is available in hardback right here and also available in ebook. You can also purchase it directly through me. You can contact me through the DM. I will um, forward you the information of how much it costs. We'll do that exchange and I will sign the copy, give you a personal message and send it your way. So guys, I want to again, thank you for being with me. We are going to go right into this devotional. This is day seven. One, one of those days I got a little bit mixed up because it was early in the morning and I had said it was a different day <laughs> but this is our day seven together on this journey hi coach play that's coach play with an i that's my husband he is a nutritionist a personal trainer a fitness coach contact him for any of your fitness needs he works at a local gym and he also has clients outside the gym uh, that he sees one-on-one -on -one as well as virtually so contact him and he is available through instagram guys and facebook all right Without further ado, let's go into this day seven of our journey. Hold on to how someone sees you in a positive way. Even if it's just one person, that one person equals to global love in your universe. I'll read it again. Hold on to how someone sees you in a positive way. Even if it's just one person, that one person equals to global love in your universe. So often we want everyone around us to see us in a positive way, or we want at least five people to see us in a positive way. Sometimes you don't get five, sometimes you don't get three. If you can just get that one, that one person who sees you in a positive way, that one person equals global love in your universe. Okay, we're going to get into our journal prompt. And like I said, if you guys just have a regular notebook, that's okay. But it is advised for you guys to get this book. Why? Because then you don't have to write the journal prompt and the devotional on your own. You can have it already printed, right? And it makes it a little bit easier to be able to get right into um, evaluating your feelings and, and writing versus having to write the prompt down. But, but if you only have the notebook to start with, go ahead and do that, okay? Here goes our journal prompt. How can you give positive support to those that are supportive of you? Oh, that's a good one. How can you give positive support to those that are supportive of you? We don't want to be those kind of people that just take, 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 and and, and are vampires and give me, give me, give me. How can we give support, love, compassion, encouragement, motivation? 
However which way that that support looks, how can we give support to those that are supportive of us? So guys, I thank you again for being with me. Again, this book is available through Amazon, ebook. You can DM me and get a, a fresh copy. But I just thank you for being on this journey with me. We are on day seven. And like I told you, you guys, I'm doing the journaling right along with you. This was day six. That was yesterday. So uh, this is an amazing time for us to be held accountable as a group and just experiencing the, this together. We are now a cohort. And if anyone's been in psychology, you're familiar with the word cohort. If you're not, Google it if you can't remember it because life happens and mom fog happens and dad fog happens and work fog happens. And you're going, I heard the word cohort, but I can't remember what it is. We are a cohort. Look it up on Google. It'll give you a really great uh, definition and example. So I thank you for being my cohort. And I am looking forward to tomorrow. Again, this is day seven. How can you give supportive? How can you give positive support to those who are supportive of you? Thank you, guys. I'll see you tomorrow. Love you all. Bye-bye.